not all Facebook posts are equal. Uh, some types of Facebook posts get uh, more views and more shares compared to other types of Facebook posts. And I want to show you this very interesting ongoing study, you might say, by, by the Love Foundation. I don't think they're purposely trying to do a social media study, but uh, we can certainly learn from what they are doing. Okay, so they have three types of posts that they keep doing. One type of post, let me show you that this, this is the primary type of post they do, is they do a social media meme, which is basically a, a beautiful image with a quote on top. Um, in another video, I actually showed you how to create these, these social media memes easily and for free using a social media tool called uh, Buffer Pablo. Anyway, I'll link to that video in the notes of this one if you're interested. Um, so they upload this image and then they also at the same time write the same quote above the image. Okay, now let's look at how this, this uh, post performed. This post was um, got 374 likes uh, and 374 reactions and 227 shares versus the second type of post they, they tend to do a lot is just the same quote itself without an image, right? With love in our heart, we are naturally grateful for the very essence of life that flows through us. Same exact quote as here, right? But this time with no image. This one only got 109, well, only, this one got 197 reactions and 37 shares. 37 shares versus 227 shares. A lot more when it's the image as well as the quote at the top. Now, there's a, there's a third type of post they do, which is that once they upload the image and put the quote on top, a few hours later, they then share the same photo, but without the quote, on the, without the quote written out on the top. Okay, this time when they share the photo they already uploaded, the quote which they wrote before lo is located down here. When, when you write, when you upload a photo and whatever you write, whatever you write on top of the photo is basically the caption of the photo. And so when you share the photo again, the caption is located underneath the photo. But this time, they, um, they only got 156 reactions versus 374 reactions. But 156 reactions versus um, 196 reaction, reactions. And I think it's because, it might, this might be because this was the very first time this quote appeared. So maybe people, the initial time, they, they liked it a lot. And then, and then the second time they liked it more because it was an image. And then the third time. But they keep doing the same test. This is what I mean by this page is very interesting to study. Because look, okay. Here is, okay, so let's start from here. Here is a quote, unconditional love is the cosmic glue that unites me and you. 365.82, okay? 471 is 364. Okay, look at these numbers are definitely higher than the, these numbers. And this time they did the image and then the quote written on top again. And then the third type of post is just sharing the photo they already uploaded. The caption, of course, is already down here. 366 likes versus 471. So what, what this is telling us, it seems to be that image and then the quote written on top. And what I mean is they could have done the same thing up here. When they shared the photo again, they could have rewritten the thing at the top again. And so for example, if I were to share this photo, right? If I were to share this photo, um, okay, I could have written the thing again at the top, you know, I'm not going to write it out right now, but, but uh, it's because the, the caption oftentimes is people don't really see it because it's so small and, and below the image. This thing at the top, the text at the top is much more obvious. And so um, anyway, I invite you to come over to the Love Foundation. You'll get inspired uh, and you'll get to see their ongoing uh, social media tests. I don't think they're testing social media, but for us, we can study it as such. Uh, to kind of see the number of likes and shares. Again, this is another example. The power of love is infinitely greater than the force of fear. 230, 32, 230, 32 versus 1600, 694. Okay, so the same quote, but with an image and the same quote at the top, again, uh, is much more um, shareable, apparently. So I hope this is interesting and helpful. And uh, 
the key message I want you to take away is for you to test. Now, for me, I wouldn't necessarily do such duplicative sharing that, that they're doing. They're like within the same 24 hours. They're sharing basically the same message um, two or three different ways or two, two or three different ways, right? And so I don't personally like doing that. Um, I don't want, yeah, I, I guess maybe I'm a bit of a purist on social media. So I would prefer to share the same message again maybe a few days later or a few weeks later or a few months later and just kind of for me to keep track of that. And, uh, but, you know, anyway, it, it, the, the main thing is for you to, to, to observe what seems to be working on social media and then test it out yourself. Try different ways. I mean, if you're just testing, it's okay every couple of months or every couple of weeks for you to test, do a test where you share the same message, three different formats, one in just text only, one in image and text, and maybe even one as a video, uh, and then see how people respond uh, to what format people like most from you. I hope this helps, and uh, I wish you well.